Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Romanovska and I am a certified family law specialist practicing family law in the Bay Area. Today I would like to talk about most asked question in every single consultation. How long does actually divorce is going to take? Uh, to cut through the chase, my answer is on average nine months. Now I'm going to break it down at what point it's going to take longer, when it's going to be less. My ideal case took about a month and a half. That was only one time in over 10 years. And in that case, the client came into the office, we filled out the petition perfectly. Uh, the other side didn't contest, didn't file a response. We were able to file a default, submitted paperwork to the court within um, after 30 days, after the other side didn't file a response, submitted so default pack package a day after the response was due, and within two weeks we received a package back, and my client was single six months and one day from the time we served the other side. So the FL 180, the judgment form, already said that. So that's the, the ideal case. Most other cases, are taking much longer. Why? If we have a case where both parties, uh, one party files a petition, the other party files a response, and they both start to exchange preliminary declaration of disclosures as it is mandatory. Here I will link um, how to fill out uh, PDD, FL-142 and FL-150. When they both exchange that, they can take a month to fill out the paperwork, to attach bank statements, and then divide all assets, prepare marital settlement agreement. So the whole entire judgment package in itself, co com compiling all the information will take time. And so in most cases, it takes about six months to get all the paperwork together, make all agreements, and that's not even contested. So if it becomes a contested case, then one party is filing for, let's say, spousal support, attorney's fees, the, the hearing is going to be two to three months, the other side might get a continuance and then it gets delayed, and then um, it, there is a status conference some sometime in, in six months, the court will say mandatory settlement conference date, then potentially a trial, and so it can get dragged out. And especially in COVID-19 times right now, it's the court is not set, um, dates as close to each other maybe as it used to be or I, I have um, I noticed that um, things get delayed right now so that's why our office is when we complete a case we use private judge to expedite the the judgment package because most people who are going through divorce they want to be divorced now um, so that's that's uh, when does it take more than nine months uh, when someone files a uh, custody request, spousal support request, whenever we have to go to court, that delays things significantly. The second most common question I get to, I get asked is, um, does the six months uh, in one day cooling off period apply to that, to that waiting time? Kind of answer it in the, in the first scenario where the court can already, so the answer is no, the court can already uh, say in the judgment, a date in advance that both parties are single so there is no requirement to do nothing and wait until six months to do any uh, paperwork exchanges so in fact it's the opposite I suggest both parties in fact there is a guideline after one party files petition and serves it uh, they're required to provide preliminary declaration of disclosures within 60 days and the other side is required to provide to the other side uh, so responding to the petitioner within 60 days um, from being from the time they're being served with the petition. So actually the six months sort of cooling off period can be used wisely. I hope that was helpful and I will see you soon. Bye!